is the Emergency Medical Minute. I'm going to talk about uh, local anesthetic systemic toxicity. It has the acronym LAST or LAST. Not a very common condition, but uh, does have potential life threats associated with it. The two big local anesthetics we use here are bupivacaine and lidocaine. Those are both amides. Uh, so for the amides and esters, different kind of profiles, but amides very rarely get allergic reactions. What people get when they have one of these lo local anesthetic systemic reactions is because the medication was given too much, too fast, or in the wrong place. And by the wrong place, I mean in an area that's very vascular, so you have rapid uptake into the systemic circulation. So when people get systemic toxicity, and that's really what we worry about in terms of how much we give, what are the two organ systems we're worried about? Cardiovascular and neurologic. So the CNS and the heart. Who, which, which one gets affected first when you get too much local anesthetic in the systemic circulation? The neurologic. So the people are gonna manifest with neurologic symptoms first. If you give too much medicine or you happen to give it intravenous or intraarterial because you didn't aspirate before you administer the anesthetic, people get circumoral numbness, they get tinnitus, they get blurred vision, they may get nausea, but it's all CNS type stuff, even seizures. But then ultimately they go to the cardiac symptoms, which include arrhythmias because lidocaine is a class 1B antiarrhythmic, it's a sodium channel blocker. Um, and that, along with bupivacaine, can cause cardiac dysrhythmia or even arrest. Um, how much lidocaine can you give someone before you reach a potentially toxic dose? Does anyone know? With or without epinephrine? Yes, with or without. Uh, five mg per kg? So the, you know, it varies a little bit depending on who you listen to, but a safe dose is probably... Uh, four milligrams per kilo for plain lidocaine, 1%, and seven milligrams per kilo with epinephrine because it slows absorption. So when you're using 1% lidocaine, how many milligrams is in a 10 cc syringe? That's 100 milligrams. So if you can use four per kilo safely, that means you can use a full 10 cc syringe theoretically, of 1% plain on a 25 kilo kid safely, as long as you're not injecting it intravenously. But uh, bupivacaine is a little bit different. It uh, has much longer, much slower uptake, much longer uh, time of action, and you, uh, has, a, has a lower safety profile. You can only use two milligrams per kilo for plain, plain bupivacaine. Bupivacaine with epinephrine, you can use three milligrams per kilo. So when we're doing those femoral nerve blocks, we're using 30, uh, milli 30 cc's of bupivacaine, 0.25%. So if you're trying to think, well, is that gonna be too much for one of these little old ladies who has a broken hip? Really, uh, at even the plain doses at two milligrams per kilo, you could give it safely to an 80 pound lady. So just th bear in mind when you're giving your lidocaines to, to people, uh, your, your basic doses, you want to limit it 4 milligrams per kilo for plain lidocaine, 7 milligrams per kilo for lidocaine with epi, 2 and 3 for bupivacaine, plain and with. The take-home message is please put more lidocaine in the lacerations because there is plenty of space to put it in there and safety. Thanks. Emergency Medical Minute is, and always will be, about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.